What's up everybody, Gaga C back with another video and today I'm gonna show you an assembly and this assembly for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Okay guys, I'm back. So for disassembling this phone, we're gonna need some tools. What do we need? Uh, some of those you can every tool is linked down be uh, below in the description where you can buy it. some of those and some uh, some screwdriver of those and optional another screwdriver so first thing is first power of the phone then remove the battery Optional, remove any SD card or SIM card in your phone. Then remove those screws. For that, we're gonna use the, this tool. Okay, so I uh, got it, and then I put it on it the plus screwdriver. Okay. Focus. Okay, now I'm gonna remove and fast forward this part of this video for removing all those screws. Okay. After removing, after removing all those screws, um, what you're gonna do is um, get with your two those. Uh, two blue things. In this case, I'm even gonna use the small one because I feel it's a little bit more better. So use that one and um, just a little bit push on those sides. Then what you're gonna do is get your tool, blue tool, and just squeeze it in like this and get it a little bit out. What you can also do is um, get that uh, that blue thing and just put it in uh, in between it like that. You will see that it will come right off. That is the easiest method. This tutorial is all about you learning, guys, how to repair your S3 if you are if you have a defect LCD. So um, again. That Setting this aside, then we will have this part. You can also remove it. Here, it's a little bit of a um, clip that you will unpop it, and then you, it will come right loose. And then you will have this. So first, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, automatic focus. Okay, I'm in focus. Then what you want to do is uh, all those screws are loose now from those screws. What you're gonna do if you are repairing your LCD, it's gonna be a tricky part. But if you don't, just for uh, LCD, this is the LCD cable. So I'm just gonna unplug it. And then this cable where it plugs from the battery powers up the motherboard and this cable where it, pub, uh, where it powers the front camera now what you want to do is just get your tool again and try to lift it up the motherboard But you have to make sure that you loosen up all those connectors. Then what you want to make sure of is this little screw. Many people fall in that screw and crack their motherboards. 
So I'll unlink this screw, put it aside, and you will see that your motherboard uh, has become loose. So yeah, that's so simple. And then this is your buzzer. Um, this is your phone actually. And um, basically, if you want to um, just uh, just uh, what you want more um, repairing your LCD, it just became uh, so easy that you can buy like this a part from eBay and just um, rearrange the following video, do it again, play it back, and you will be good to go. But I'm gonna actually do it all, all for you so that you can see how you can actually um, buy uh, so this part is like having a new LCD okay then I'm gonna uh, assemble uh, all from the other phone to this phone to make it a new phone so let's do it again assemble get your motherboard don't forget your buzzer and your cameras your headphone and your cameras then Place the motherboard like this. Make sure that you upper lift that that um, switch. And just fix the camera in place and tighten up. You click on that and click it, and then it should snap right into place. So. By that done, you have to connect all the connectors again. So, work for connectors, basically like um, this ribbon cable from the LCD. Just reconnect it again. Make sure that you connected it very good. Then what you have to do is to get to that little black screw and screw it right in place in here because many people follow that trick and they lose their warranty also okay, it's tied enough up make sure that you have all your ribbon cables are good to go then yeah I have missed something so you have to make sure well uh, that all your ribbon cables are good co good connected and now i missed that part of uh, connecting the motherboard to the power so like this here that cable so you need to try it up place the place and snap that ribbon cable again now the lcd connector lift it up connect it yeah, and then screw back that black screw. Then get your speaker headphones jack combo and just place it right here. Snaps right into place and then connect that ribbon cable. Okay, so it's gonna basically a little bit more better. Connect that ribbon cable. Then get your body again, put it right here, snaps in place, then screw again all of those screws that we um, unscrewed before, so I'm gonna again fast forward this video. Basically that simple, you don't have to worry about damaging your phone because I am like a 13 year old and 13 year old can do it, it's very simple so don't uh, be worried about it, uh, the only downside to it uh, to doing that is you can avoid your warranty if you had a warranty from Samsung. So if you have a warranty, don't do it, if you don't have a warranty, you can basically, anyone can basically do it. And tip for me you guys, um, never tighten up the screws very hard, okay? 
so you can basically that you can damage the head of your screw and you won't be able to unscrew that screw again so guys we are now actually done popping again your sim card and sd card just uh, again put again your battery in it close in the cover from it and yeah that is it basically done so yeah thanks guys very much for watching i hope you liked it be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos like this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out